come along on our Cape Mary speech trip, March 19, 2018. It all started when we hopped in the car around 8.30 to head on the freeway. It started out really foggy, but as we were on the road, the sun came out and we could see the mountains surrounding us and it was gorgeous. There was me and my bestie and some window art. To get to Cape Maris, we had to go through Tillamook, and then along this beautiful country road. The sun was out, and it was gorgeous. It couldn't have been better. And Jordan was having fun with the camera sitting up front, especially when he found the zoom. One of the cool things about driving along this road that we came to find out is that all this land was filled with water when we came back uh, due to the tide that came in and that little boat was no longer stuck on land but out there floating. The whole trip to Cape Maris took a little less than two hours and we came to this little beachfront. From there we parked the car and went to find the trailhead, which was actually more difficult than you would think. On the way to the trailhead, the view was spectacular and someone even left us a message. Finally, we made it to the trail and ventured into the forest and there was a lot of mud and I had my trusty Jesus sandals very good hiking shoes Finding the correct path to follow was at times a struggle because we had no map. So we would be looking and come to a dead end and then look to the other side and voila, there was a trail. So we just kept going and when we came to a fork, hopefully we would take the right path. Other times we took a slight detour, which in the long run made plenty more memories than it would have if we didn't take and also helped make our feet very muddy. <laughs> In this particular detour, once we got so far, we decided that it wasn't the correct trail and that we had to turn around and go back. Now, muddy feet, no shoes, and all, we hiked back up the trail to find the correct path. There were a few trail markings on this hike, so once we saw one that we noted that we were on the right direction, we celebrated.
be the one where the sky meets the sea. It calls me, and no one knows how far it goes. We finally made it out of the forest and came to another marker. This one hopefully more on the right track to the lighthouse that we were headed to. Oh. We still got a little bit to go. Wow, that is so high. Bruh. Do you feel like you're on top of the universe? Yes. Can you see the ocean? Uh-huh. Sweet. I mean, it's not a spectacular view, but it's a view. I think I found my new home. That's all. Awesome. Thank you. Might get a little rained on. <gasps> Studio apartment. Yep. <laughs> the state champion in 2008 for being the largest of its species in Oregon. Standing 144 feet tall, 48 feet in circumference, and 15 and a half feet in diameter. It is estimated to be 750 to 800 years old. Last one of the lighthouse is a rotten egg. I'm definitely gonna be the rotten egg right here. As you can tell, the view was so gorgeous. It was just really nice to see water after the hike. And the lighthouse view from on top was so stunning just to see out and see blue beyond the sky and um, beyond the horizon blue skies blue ocean and sunshine was awesome For oh, you to stand there? I think it's bigger than this though, like a lot bigger. Yeah. What do you guys think about this lighthouse? <laughs> it's stubby. <laughs> it's stubby like they said. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> After what felt like a much shorter walk back, we finally took a path that led us to some houses and a yard, and we're back in civilization. It felt good that we weren't lost. After coming down to the beachfront, we decided to play in the water before we headed off for lunch. The water felt so nice and the weather couldn't have been better. After we were done with the hike and playing at the beach, we were all ready for lunch. So we went about 10 minutes to Oceanside to this really cute little cafe, which was called Rosianna's Cafe.
we're at the baby table. <laughs>